What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today we're gonna look at how to upgrade our Mac Mini 2012. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your Android and your iPhone and also a bunch of upgrades for your Mac Mini. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca and here we go. Today we're going to upgrade our Mac Mini and this is just the uh, 2012 version, late 2012 where it has an 8 gig of RAM. I made a video where I upgraded the inside as well where I added a dual memory on it as well. I added uh, 8 gigs so I came from 4 gigs Mac Mini to uh, 8 gig Ma Mac Mini and now I also added dual hard drive slot where it helps us to have a SSD for our boot and also a bigger slash cheaper uh, hard drive for the rest of our files. Uh, right now uh, what I have right here is a 400 gigabyte SSD and also a 500 uh, gigabyte just normal hard drive and today we're gonna upgrade that 500 gigabytes to a 2 terabyte solid state hard drive. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox that right here. Just got it today, so let's go ahead and open that up. Today we're looking at let's put that away. There we go. Open it up. So this hard drive is still as small as a 2.5 inch and will fit in our MacBook Pro or MacBook Mini. Just put that on the side for now. We're gonna go ahead and open up our Mac Mini. But before, before uh, we go through all the process of putting that in, we need our tools. So today we're looking at our tools right here. Open it up. So you can see inside all the bits that you need for your iPhone and for your Mac Mini. And there you go. Let's just put that on the side for now. To open the Mac Mini, all you need to do is flip it the other way on its bottom and make sure to twist that like that. See this part right here? It shows that it's open. Now you'll be able to take that off. And there you go. Next step is take off the fan. So we'll need that kind of screw right there, torque screw. The T6 torque screw right there. Let's take that out. Grab this thing. We need to take that connection off. You can just go ahead and pull up on it and it will just come off pretty easy. Let's put that on the side for now. All we're doing here now is just taking off screws by screw so that we'll be able to pull out the logic board. Once you take off that one screw, you'll be able to take off this guard that they have for the fan. Now we need to take off those screws right there, which is going to be the T8. Next up is the screws right here so that we'll be able to take off the Wi-Fi module. Once you are done, you'll be able to just pull it out. Uh, make sure to pull it upwards. Be careful with this. Make sure to not pull it all the way 
because the Wi-Fi module is still connected, what you need to do is just pull it on the side. The Wi-Fi off right there. Now what you need to do is disconnect the hard drives. Once you've disconnected the hard drives, the next ribbon that you want to take out is this one. We need to take out more screws. What we'll need to use is this with a T8 and the two would be a T6. Next step, what we need to do is to push out the logic board out from the back. On this side. Just like that. There you go. Now that the logic board is off, just put that on the side. To disconnect that purse, it's the only thing that's holding it back. That's why I wasn't able to do it. Take a look at the hard drives. This is the hard drive that we need to replace. This is the one that we're uh, keeping in there for 80 gigs SSD. So let's go ahead and unwrap this. Now we're just taking out the screws here and we're gonna basically replace this with our next hard drive, which is a two terabyte SSHD. This is a new hard drive right here. Let's go ahead and unwrap this. Here's a quick comparison of the two. Here's the front side and the back side. Now let's go ahead and install it. Make sure to install it the way you found it on the other drive, making sure that all the stickers and the sides are all stuck together as well. And then we're going to install the screws while we're at it. Once you've done that, you'll be able to just reverse the video and do the exact same thing as how you take it out. 